Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing May favorites. So all my favorites from the last month or so. I will first just apologize for like the amount that you are gonna be seeing my bra today because it doesn't wanna stay in my dress. Look at this. I don't know what's going on. It's so annoying. This dress does not want to contain my bra. That's just the situation we're dealing with. So we're gonna start off as promised with an update for you on the Fox Hand stuff. So I mentioned this in my last haul video. Um, Fox Hand sent me across this little kit, which is the um, elixir, the rapid mist, the hydrating spray, and their suntan sealer, which is like their moisturizer. So they sent me across all these products and I said that I would update you on how I got on with them. Lots of people are really, really interested in this brand and in these products and have seen them around. And loads of my friends, when I posted a photo of the products, they were like, oh my God, you know, how are you getting on? How are you finding it? Because they've been really dying to try it and, and not sure whether to get it or not. So let me help you out. I mean, for the first thing is to say is, look at me, look, look at me. I'm like a different person. If you've watched my videos before, like just by looking at like, my arms and my chest, you'll be able to see how much sun I have caught. If you're new to my channel, you haven't watched that many of my videos or you've only watched videos in the last like week or so where I've already like caught quite a bit of sun, you won't be able to tell the difference from like now to my sort of skin tone like a, a few weeks ago. So you will know that I'm from the UK and in the UK if you are if you are based here, if you live here, if you're from the UK, you'll know that we've had some really nice weather the last few weeks, but it has been like intermittent, you know, a couple of days here, then raining again, and a couple of days of sun and then raining again. And that's kind of how it's been. So I'd say we've had maybe the equivalent of like a week of like really warm weather, really warm sun. I haven't been able to use these products to like the best of their like potential even, I would say, because to me, these would be like phenomenal if you're going on holiday. The elixir you are supposed to use for a week every day, for a week before you go into the sun. So obviously if you were going on holiday, then you would use it for the week before you go every night or every morning, like in place of a moisturizer or as well as a moisturizer. And then you use the mist when you're in the sun. So you put your SPF on, let it soak in, and then you spray this over the top. Then you've got your hydrating body spray, which for me on holiday would be incredible. You know when you're just like by the pool and you're like melting and you can't take any more and you're gonna like overheat and your pina colada's not doing it for you. This is like, I mean, I haven't been keeping mine in the fridge just because I, it seems to stay really cool as it is, but like just when you just get a bit hot, to spray this over yourself. It's, it smells like pina coladas. Everything smells like tropical, fruity incredibleness. That's the first thing to know. So yeah, this is like a cooling, hydrating spray that you would use when you're a bit hot. It's lovely when you come in from the sun just to, you know, give yourself a big mist all over. Every, like my husband's been using it when he comes in from like mowing the lawn and from like a jog. And then this is the Suntan 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 Sealer, which again I've been obsessed with. I'm like halfway through the bottle already. And again, this is just an incredible moisturizer. It's really rich. Like a little goes a really long way. I put it on this morning just like before I was filming, and you can see it gives like really nice luminosity to the skin, and it's so my my body feels so soft. And it just smells like all of these products smell incredible. The nitty gritty on this. So I do have olive skin. I do usually tan easily, but I will say that this is the most tanned I have ever been unless I've been on holiday. So this is the most tanned by a million miles that I've ever been without leaving the UK. And it is May and we've had literally just a few days of sunshine. Like whenever my husband gets home, and by the way, I haven't been sunbathing, I've just been going about like my normal day. So I have been like sitting in the garden more, like having my lunch, having my breakfast in the garden, playing with the kids more in the garden. When we go on days out, we're more outside than we have been like in the winter. So that's how I've kind of been catching my sun. And before I've gone out, I've just given myself a spray of the rapid mist. I've been using the rapid elixir, but kind of off and on. Have I haven't been like as committed with using this just because I am like lazy and sometimes I just want to jump into bed. So I've been using this like every other day, I would say. I've used the moisturizer like every day just because I really love it. So I could definitely have got more out of these products, particularly if I had been on holiday because obviously then you sunbathe, don't you? You've got sun every day. Whereas here it has been like, 
intermittent and I have only spent, you know, a couple of hours in the sun for a few days. I've gone from like an NC25 because I was fully in my winter skin, fully as like pale as I get. Now I am like what I, the sort of skin tone, skin color I am when I come back from like a week holiday. For those of you who need proof or who want just some kind of evidence, because I don't really have strap marks because I just sit in the garden now, you can see a little bit of one, but I take my straps off most of the time. That's just from like walking around. What I do is I had to buy a couple of new shades of foundation this month because I've got so tanned. So I'm going to show you the shade of foundation in my Huda foundation, which I was using before I started using the Fox Tan. And then I'm gonna show you the shade I'm using now. And then that is probably the best kind of evidence, physical evidence I can really offer you without like showing you my boobs. Okay, this is the shade Toasted Coconut, which is the shade I was before I started using this stuff and had some sunny days and this is the shade Baklava which is the shade that I've got on right now and the shade that I am using now. I've been using this stuff and like talking to my friends and family loads of them have bought the spray and that's the thing I think if you were going to you know you want to give something a try but you're still a bit like hesitant and you're not sure that's the one that I would pick up I would just give the rapid mist a try first and see if you like it see if you get on with it see if it makes a difference for you and um, because that's just the easiest one you know you can just sit in the sun put your SPF on and you just give yourself a spritz and just see what you think my husband has been so shocked like he gets home from work and he's like what have you done like you are a different color like what is happening next up while we're on like sun products I've been using the benefit dream screen a lot lately because it has been very very hot and not all of my foundations have like a good enough SPF that I want on my face so my taint Adol has I think SPF 15 yeah so really not good enough this really high weather. I do use a moisturiser that has SPF 30 in it, but it can't help to, you know, have some more. So this has SPF 45. I use this as like a primer. It leaves your skin really quite dewy, so you might want to avoid using under makeup if you are oily. I'm not sure how it would be for oil skin, oily skin. It does say it's oil free, but it is very um, luminous. It's like it's basically a sunscreen for, like specifically for your face. So I bought this like a couple of years ago for holiday and I used like half the bottle on the holiday using it a couple of times a day, every day on my face. And I've used it, you know, like uh, say a couple of weeks, I've been using this most days under my foundation and I'm still only probably just about halfway through. So it does, although it's really small, it does really last you because you're only using it on your face. I just really like to know I've got that extra SPF coverage on my face because if my face tans, one, it's really aging, obviously, for your face to have sun exposure, but two, I get really bad hyperpigmentation if I catch the sun. It's already starting to come as much as I'm trying to avoid the sun on my face. Obviously, you can't fully avoid the sun touching your face. It's going to happen. Um, so I'm already getting a bit of pigmentation here and I get it under my eyes and it like is really strong So I can't re I really struggle to cover it with even the fullest cover Foundation so I really try to avoid as much sun on my face as possible and I can like, you can already see even though of that you see that how dark that Baklava foundation was in comparison to the foundation I was using you can still see it's probably not quite as dark as my body But when I take my foundation off, it's like someone else's head on my shoulders. I love this stuff, it soaks in really, really nicely. It doesn't break me out. It definitely gives me a huge amount of like sun protection to for my face and my neck, which I also bring it down my neck. Really recommend this if you're looking for a sunscreen for your face that makeup will work nicely on top of definitely give this one a try. That's kind of skincare-y thing. This is the Super Facialist Retinol Plus Anti-Aging Restoring Serum. And I really know very little about this brand. I found it in Boots and it was on like half price offer. So I was like, oh, I needed a new serum and I wanted to give it a try. And this is the first time I've tried any retinol. I know like I've been wanting to try and I've been interested in it for a long time. But a lot of like retinol serums are very expensive. And this one was expensive. I think it was about 17 pounds, but that was obviously with a lot of money, like a lot reduced. Um, but yeah, I've only used this like three days now and I was intending to use it every other day because I know retinol can be quite sort of severe if you've not used it before. But I haven't had any issues with this. I haven't had any like discomfort, any aggravation to my face. It hasn't made me sore, it hasn't broken me out, nothing like that. So it must be quite a gentle one, probably a good one to start off with. 
if like me you haven't used a retinol before but honestly it feels delightful it feels so nice on the skin so i put this on at night you only supposed to use it once a day because it is obviously quite strong and um, I, I, you know, really bring it up under my eye, I focus it on the centre of my forehead and around my mouth, which is like my areas that I'm conscious of ageing, signs of ageing lines, things like that. Um, and then I just obviously massage it into the rest of my skin and my face and down my neck. It feels beautiful, it soaks in really nicely. It disappears to nothing, but doesn't feel very drying, which is really nice. It doesn't have like a really, it has a really nice smell, but it doesn't have like a sort of overpowering perfume to it. I'm really enjoying it. I've only used it for a, like a week or so. I've definitely noticed a difference to my skin. I feel like it's a lot less uneven skin tone wise. It feels very, very soft. Obviously, I haven't noticed anything like reduction in wrinkles yet. It's too soon for that, but I will keep you posted. At the moment, I'm really enjoying it. Next up, two of the nail varnishes that I had in my haul when I got like ridiculous numbers of OPI nail polishes. My two ultimate favourites that are perfect for like the spring and summer. This is the shade You've Got Nada On Me, and it's this gorgeous pinky peach shade, almost like a, maybe a, like a really light coral gorgeous amazing like um opaque coverage in literally one coat opi nail polishes if you've used a lot of them like i have really hit and miss particularly the lighter shades a lot of the lighter shades you can do 10 coats and they're still like not even still not fully opaque and a pain in the bum but this one is incredible fully fully covers your nail one or two coats and it's perfect really really lovely shine to it and just a gorgeous like summery shade and this is the one that i've got on today this is barefoot in barcelona one of their best ever selling shades the shade i've got on right now just a really nice sort of nude soft kind of is it mauvey type shade actually really matches my lips and i didn't do that on purpose so those are like the two nail polishes i've been wearing every day for the last few weeks one of my all-time favourite products that I've ever tried, ever. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer. I've really slept on this. I've like, when it first came out, it just looked really glittery and it kind of looked like the sort of bronzer that wouldn't really add a lot of colour, particularly not to sort of more medium skin. Um, but then actually I started seeing it in a few reviews on people with, you know, medium or deeper skin tone and it really looking very beautiful. And you know me, you know I love a luminous bronzer, like my favourite bronzers are the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer, I also love using my MAC Glow with it, which is actually um, like a highlighter, but I use that as a bronzer because it's for deeper skin tones, for, so on my skin tone it works really nicely as a bronzer. It smells like chocolate, but when you look at it, I mean, I'm not sure how well it will come across on the camera, but it looks very glittery, and it doesn't look particularly deep enough for a bronzer. This product is so deceptive. When you look at it in the pan, it's full of glitter. That's how it looks. And that's kind of what was putting me off. When you swatch it, that's it there. You can see actually, that's a really nice tone. It's got that bronzy tone that I love in my bronzers. I don't like orangey bron bronzers, but I don't like really cool toned bronzers either. Somewhere in the middle, I love a sort of bronze type shade. So this is it on the back of my hand. Now, I don't know how well, again, you'll be able to see, but it is not glittery on the skin. It's what I've got on my face today, but it is just really luminous. Next up, I've been obsessed with the new MAC blushes. So these are the new Mineralize Matte Blushes. Now, I know they say they're mattes, but to me, they are more of like a natural finish. They aren't flat matte. They do seem to have a little bit of like just luminosity or more of a satin finish to me. So at the moment I have two shades. This is the shade Naturally Flawless and this is the one just here. At the moment on my really tan skin, this is just the perfect, really subtle wash of colour. Really good for lighter skin tones. They're so blendable and buildable, which is apparently what the formula is supposed to be. And this is the shade Like Me Love Me. So this one is much more of a peachy nude and a little bit deeper um, than the Naturally Flawless. So but again, so buildable and so blendable that you really could use this for lots of different skin tones. There's all kinds of different shades. So there's kind of something for everybody. Flirting with danger, if you've got deeper skin tones, this is on my Instagram, go and check it out to see it a bit more clearly, but this is the shade Flirting with Danger, and if you have darker skin tone, 
that is gonna be beautiful on you. Like, I die, I die. I still wanna buy that one, even though I feel like it'll probably be too dark for me. So drawn to it. And then this bottom shade is Humor Me, which previously would have been too dark for me, but I think now I can probably pull it off. It's a sort of plummy brown shade, looks gorgeous in the swatches. Head over to my Instagram if you wanna see them all swatched because there's a picture on my Instagram of all of them. Next up, this is the Urban Decay Grind Glitter Liner. My favourite kind of eye looks to do are like pink, smoky or halo eye looks. You know how much I love my Soft Glam Palette and this is the perfect line like glitter product to put on top of a Soft Glam look. So yeah, it's just a pink glittery liner. It doesn't crease, it dries quite quickly. I just sort of sit here like this, waiting for it to dry. Really attractive. It just helps things pop, but because it's not like a completely opaque colour like this sort of Stila Glitter and Glow, it still allows what you've put underneath to show through. It just gives an extra bit of pop and glitter. Really nice shade. It's real sort of pink iridescence to it. Real nice shift. Hints of like silver and almost like yellowy gold in there as well. Beautiful. Kat Von D Signature Brow Pencil. I've been obsessed with this. This has like made my brows 25 times better than they've ever been before. I love it. I've got the shade Medium Brown. It's the perfect shade for me. I love the formula. I love the applicator. I have a whole review on this if you haven't seen it. I have been obsessed. So it has this really nice flat tip. When you turn it on its edge, it is so fine. Perfect for like brow like strokes another product that has a buildable formula so it's a lot more sort of user friendly beginner friendly it's not like oh if you know you go in too sort of firmly you've bodged your whole eyebrow it's really sort of soft and buildable and you can get it you know like more like of a stronger payoff if you build it up or you can just go with a really soft very quick I like natural brow and it just makes things so much easier for me. Days where I couldn't even be bothered to do my brows, I'll just go quickly over them with this and it makes such a difference. It's so quick, easy, foolproof, idiot proof. This is the MAC Studio Chromographic Pencil in the shade NC15 NW20. I've got this in my waterline today. This is the perfect nude liner for your lower waterline. I feel like in the summer, or maybe it's just because I'm getting older, here it is just here. It's just a nude shade. So I think it's actually like a concealer pencil. I feel like in the now it's summer, or maybe just because I'm getting older, my, my like lower waterline seems to be really red all the time. And I've just literally been using this every time I do my makeup, I've just run this in my lower waterline and it just wakes you up makes you look more like less tired more awake eyes wider more open more youthful just covers up any redness and it really lasts very very well on your waterline two lip products the first one i've got on my lips right now this is jeffree star's christmas cookie i love jeffree star lipsticks the liquid lipsticks i like the bullets as well but the liquid lipsticks are amazing they're my probably my second favorite formula behind the huda ones which my ride or die i have a lot of these this was from the christmas collection and at the time you know what christmas was like makeup was coming out of my ears and i procrastinated about picking this up so much that it sold out before i could decide whether to get it or not which was a bummer because everyone who knows what i like was telling me i would love this one um but now he's bought it back permanent is part of his permanent collection because it was so popular so what i've got on today let me show you i've had this one on for a few hours now i've been drinking and eating and you can see it really does not look any drier there's no more texture there's no more lines being exaggerated than any other lipstick would certainly not a matte lip lip with lipstick this is very comfortable easy to wear goes with every like makeup look I do on on my more tan skin it's like the perfect nude but not too nude it's just got something about it and I've been I've been obsessed with it I don't know why I slept on it at Christmas and then Max Velvet Teddy, which you guys know I picked up in my most recent haul. Here it is just here. You can see it's pretty similar actually to the liquid lipstick, the Christmas cookies. Am I predictable? Obviously everyone and his brother has this shade, but 
I have been sleeping on it. It's never just been like the one I've been wanting to pick up. There's always been something more exciting. But again, much like the Christmas cookies that I've got on now, now that I'm a bit more medium or a bit more tanned, it's the perfect nude. Nudes like Myth and my Peach Stock and my Honey Loves at the moment are a bit too light for me now. I'm more tanned and these kind of shades are much more flattering on my tan skin tone. So yeah, I've been wearing like one of these two every day for weeks. Next up, I've already briefly mentioned both of these products. Now I picked up two new foundation shades. Obviously you guys know I am obsessed with the Lancome Taint de Dole and I could not bear to live without it now that I've got tanned and the old shade doesn't fit me anymore. This is the shade 50 which is beige amber, or beige ambre, or ambre, something like that. It's shade 50. I also got a new shade of the Huda foundation. I just find this foundation so handy to have in your shade. I picked up Baklava which is what I'm wearing today. And again if anything my face is still a little bit lighter than my body. Go figure. So yeah, before I was using Toasted Coconut, which is a neutral shade, and Baklava is a golden shade. And when I first put it on, again, I feel like it's too warm tone for me, too orangey, but by the time I finish my makeup, actually, I feel like it settles in and works really well. I feel like this is the closest that I've got right now to like my undertones. I feel like my undertones in summer are so tricky because they're just not a standard, you know, warm yellow undertone, and they're clearly not pink. They're not really neutral either. They're just, they're olive. I think what I wanna do is pick up the Fenty Olive shade in 290, but I'm not sure if that might be slightly too light. I don't know. Yeah, I've been loving this one. I love just having this as a mixer because I can mix this in with like my lighter foundations from that are in my winter colors. And because of the coverage of this, it just gives them a bit more coverage. It deepens them enough that I can still kind of pull them off with bronzer. So it's just a really useful product to have. Not necessarily that I wear it on its own every single day, but I either wear it on its own or I can mix it in with lots of others to give them more coverage, deepen them up if they're in a lighter shade for me. I just find it really helpful to have it in a good shade. And that is all of my faves for May. I do have one major fail for the month which I want to share with you. And that is these cleansing wipes from Boots. These are Boots own cleansing wipes, refreshing cucumber. They are the worst facial wipes I've ever used. I was just trying to be thrifty, you know, they're a pound each. So I picked up three packs, 25 wipes per pack for three pound, which you can't really argue with, as long as you aren't actually going to use them on your face. I use these on lazy days when I want to take my makeup off with wipes while I'm sitting in my bed. That's just being honest with you. That's what I use facial cleansing wipes for. I definitely do not in a million miles recommend using these on your face. I am gonna, I mean, I've got 75 of them, so I am gonna keep using them for things like swatches, um, you know, wiping stuff off. I'll probably use them to, clean my child's hands very gently. The problem with them are, they are so harsh. I mean, they've got the texture, they remind me of like the flash wipes that you sort of clean, you know, your surfaces with because they have made like no attempt to make these gentle for skin. So yeah, I've been using this throughout this video to like wipe the swatches off my hand. And that is probably the only way I'll ever use them again. Maybe I'll use them to clean my mirror. That's about it. I tried to take my makeup off of these the other day and it felt raw. My face was crying. They were very, very harsh. I much prefer the Simple Wipes. They are three pounds as opposed to one, but clearly the extra two pound goes into the softening ingredients because these hurt my face. That is everything I have to share with you for the month of May. All of my fave things. As always, any questions about any of these products, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what your favourites for the month of May were, please. You know I love to know because I am nosy. Very nosy. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go so I can see you again. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.